a 6 inch full HD Super AMOLED display and a 5000 mAh battery for just under $300 seems like a great combination. Blue has just announced its new device and if this sounds good you're in the right place. What is up guys this is Ben here with Android Authority. We're going to be taking a look at the all new Blue Energy XO. So let's get right into it. Right off the bat, the design on this phone is definitely the most eye-catching. The Blue Energy XL has a premium metal design with the edges rounded off. It comes in two colors, a silver or a gold, and this is the gold version. Blue has done a great job in keeping it a thin profile with an 8.4 thin aluminum unibody housing. The phone feels very good in the hands and you'll notice that the metal they have used is of high quality because it does not feel cheap at all. Since it is thin and it is slightly rounded to the back, that will help with your grip which is actually really good because you don't want it to fall out of your hands. Moving on to the display, you'll notice that it is huge and great quality. Blue has pushed this phone to have a 6 inch full HD Super AMOLED display. The colors look very nice on this screen and since it is an AMOLED display, it provides you a greater range of color options thus creating an even more vibrant looking image. It also allows a fantastic viewing experience since along with the AMOLED display you're able to watch this at a resolution of 1080p with a pixel density of 368. Moving on to the performance, the phone is powered by a powerful octa-core 1.3 GHz processor with 3 gigs of RAM. The phone runs very smooth even with the custom animations for the home screen. You can switch from app to app instantly without it getting even a bit of stutter. I did run the phone through some benchmarks with Geekbench and it did okay. I tried to also see if it could hold up to gaming and it actually did a pretty good job without dropping any frames. Now one of the biggest selling points to the phone is obviously the battery life coming in with a 5000 mAh battery. This battery will give you a lot of juice, you'll never be charging this device on a daily basis. I gave mine a test and used it for a medium to heavy use and it was still left with just over 60% at the end of the day. So that is definitely an awesome addition to the phone. Towards the bottom you will notice that it is charged via a Type-C USB cable and the charge times are rather very quick considering the size of the battery. You will also find a dual SIM card tray with 64 gigs of internal storage and if that's not enough you have an access to a micro SD slot to increase the storage capacity. In terms of the sound, it does not have a heavy bass to it, but overall this is a great job in producing a good amount of bass without distorting the sound, and ends up giving a very high quality sound. Similar to the Blue Vivo 5, Blue has stayed with Android Lollipop version 5.1. The app drawer is still not there, so you have to have all your apps on the screen. You can however create folders, which does make it slightly more organized, or you can solve this simply by just downloading a Nova Launcher and having your app drawer back in action. When you slide from the top, you'll get your notification screen, which looks great and has an option button so you can customize what notifications you want to see. Pulling up from the bottom will bring additional quick functions, which also house your flash, calculator, camera, and the infamous button to fake a call, which is my personal favorite. On the phone itself, Blue has applied two touch sensitive buttons, one taking you back and the other opening your most recent apps, which is nice. You can also customize your home screen with different themes and create some custom animations as well. As for the themes, there are a couple of themes, but the one that's already been defaulted actually does look really good with the phone so I went ahead and kept that one. So overall there are some things on the Blue Energy XL that are not native to everyone but it is easy to get used to and once that is done the software is a great companion to the phone. The camera is not something to be wowed over but it will definitely get the work done and actually does a great job. Blue has given the phone a 13 megapixel main camera with a face detection autofocus and a 5 megapixel selfie camera. The pictures come out great, with them not being too exposed or overly saturated. The camera does a great job outdoors but has a little bit of trouble without lighting, but that is okay since we're not dealing with the DSLR camera or something. But overall the camera is good at the price point that it is given at. Video quality is great, but nothing too exemplary. It has good quality, but with constant exposure changes, it is kind of difficult in the outdoors to capture video. And since there is no stabilization, it can be shaky at times. Overall for the camera, it is something you would see in a budget smartphone. At the end of the day, this is a $300 smartphone that really feels like a flagship device when looking at it from the outside and inside. The exterior design and build quality is amazing and can definitely not be complained about. The Super AMOLED display giving out a resolution of 1080 by 1920 is superb and gives out fantastic vibrant images and more along with an insane mega battery giving it 5000 mAh which can last up to 3 days. The software on the device can be a hit or miss but can be solved if tinkered just a little bit when paired alongside with the Nova launch. So is this phone worth picking up? I would say yes. Blue has done a lot better with this device and being just under $300 is great considering it comes with an amazing build quality as well. So you definitely can't go wrong with the Blue Energy XL. So that'll be it. Thanks for watching. Comment down below what you think on the Blue Energy XL and its 5000 mAh battery. Also, don't forget to check out our website, AndroidAuthority.com, for the full in-depth review where we go into detail. As always, stay tuned and subscribe because we are your source for all things Android.